Terry from the Crystal Lake Public Library. I am here to tell you about one of my very favorite author illustrators, Melissa Sweet. I happen to have a sampling of her books here today to share with you. And the first one is Carmine, A Little More Red. You may look at this and see this girl with the red hood riding on a bicycle with her dog, Rufus. It might remind you of a story you've heard before called Little Red Riding Hood. And that is what this book is based on, but it's a little more modern and it's about a girl named Carmine and her dog. And they go to their granny's house because their granny has made alphabet soup. And she always goes to her granny's house when her granny makes alphabet soup. And you might see in the corner is a wolf. So Carmine had better be careful on her way to Granny's house. Another book by Melissa Sweet, or really illustrated by Melissa Sweet, is called Listen to Our World. It's written by Bill Martin Jr. and Michael Sampson, and it's just a beauty of a book. I just love her illustrations. They're so fun and whimsical. She has, look at this, near the tall cactus, Gila monsters crawl. The desert is their world. You can see these Gila monsters down there. They say, yes, yes. It's just such a cool book. And then there are eagles and little eaglets down here. Is that what they're called, eaglets? I think so. And then, I like the pandas. In the green undergrowth, baby pandas chew on sprouts. The bamboo forest is their world. And they make their little panda sounds. That is listen to our world. Also, da -da 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 -da, it's July. So what a great time to read a book called Firefly July. These poems in this book were selected by Paul B. Genesco, and of course, the pictures are by Melissa Sweet. It's a year of very short poems, so Firefly July is only one of the poems. But it's just beautifully done, as you can see here. And one of the poems in this book is by one of my favorite children's poets, Joyce Sidman. It's called A Happy Meeting. Rain meets dust, soft cinnamon kisses, quick, quick noisy courtship, then marriage mud. So the mud is the marriage of dust and rain. So you see all this mud down here, and then you see people with their umbrellas. I think that's pretty cool. So that is called Firefly July, a year of very short poems. One of Melissa Sweet's most famous books is Balloons Over Broadway. It's the true story of the puppeteer of the Macy's Parade. Do you ever watch that parade that comes on on Thanksgiving? Well, this is all about the puppeteer of the Macy's Parade. And then here's a book called A Splash of Red. The Life and Art of Horace Pippin. Now Horace Pippin, now this is written by Jen Bryant and illustrated by Melissa Sweet. Horace Pippin is an artist, but his grandmother was born into slavery. He fought in World War I, and it just kind of talks about all the different things that influenced him as an artist, a painter, and it's just another beautiful book. Melissa Sweet does many easy biographies that tell you all about various people that you might not have heard of, like Judith Scott. This book is called Unbound. It's about Judith Scott, the life and art of Judith Scott. Now she was born with Down syndrome but she became a renowned 
fabric artist. And it's just a very lovely story about her life and how she was able to make things with fabric. Unbound, the life and art of Judith Scott. Now, you see how many? There's so many and more than this for sure at our library. This book is called Celia Planted a Garden. It's the story of Celia Thaxter and her island garden. Now, Melissa Sweet live, lives in Maine and she loves the state of Maine. And this gardener actually made a garden on an island off the coast of Maine. The book is by Phyllis Root and Gary D. Schmidt. Another of Melissa Sweet's very popular books is Brave Girl, Clara and the Shirtwaist Makers Strike of 1909. And it tells the story of Clara Lemlick and how she led the largest strike by women who were working in a factory sewing things, it's Shirtwaist Factory. And it's written by Michelle Markle. Very cool book. And another one. Girls Solve Everything. Stories of Women Entrepreneurs Building a Better World. This book is written by Catherine Themish. And it tells all kinds of stories about women you might not have heard of. And a couple of them are Jane Addams, who started the Hull House in Chicago to help people who were poor to have things like daycare and just some um, help paying their rent and things like that. And then this is what it looked like in Chicago. And then there's the story of Doris Taylor who started Meals on Wheels. And there are many other stories of women entrepreneurs in this wonderful book. And I've saved my very favorite for last. This book is called Some Writer, the story of E.B. White. And of course, E.B. White wrote books like Charlotte's Web and Stuart Little and Trumpet of the Swan. And Melissa Sweet wrote and illustrated this book. And it's just a beautiful book because not only does it have beautiful illustrations, it has photographs and various collages. It has a whole chapter about Charlotte's Web and how that book came to be. And letters and notes and just all sorts of things that tell you so much about E.B. White, really good stuff. Now I recommend that you come into the Crystal Lake Library and you ask us for a book by Melissa Sweet. Have a great day.